So the most visual uh, experience I've had out of the numerous would be probably when I saw a apparition from the neck down, uh, leaning up against the staircase. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? I just heard somebody walking down here in this hallway. As I was walking up the stairs about halfway, started getting a very intense feeling on my chest. Whoa, again. What the heck was that? Uh, the general and I have had some encounters that have not been visual <laughs> that tell me he's very much intelligent. Something just touched my knee. The hell was that? Oh, that sounded just like I swear something just not touched the back of my leg. It felt like something just touched the back of my leg. Have you ever been touched in here? What was that? Did you hear that? I heard yeah. something. No, for some reason, I'm like on edge. I don't have an explanation for how that could be possible. That is probably one of the craziest things we've we've had happen. This quest brings us to Winchester, Indiana, to the historic Stone Mansion. Built on just over two acres of property in 1872, it was built for General Stone and his wife, Lydia. We're definitely looking forward to getting in there. And from the looks of the place, I think once the sun goes down, it's gonna look pretty daunting. There have been a lot of reports of strings going on. The general and his wife, Lydia, passed away within a year of each other in 1891 and 1892. So a lot of the reports of paranormal activity do stem from the general and his wife. So we're gonna head on in, check it out, get acquainted with the building. Here we are inside the stone mansion one of the most historic buildings in Winchester. When was it actually built? Construction started on the building in the year 1868, and records say it either finished being built in 1872 or 1873. General Stone, who built this mansion, he was a pretty wealthy man when he finally built this mansion. What did he earn his wealth from? So he was a man that had his hands involved in everything. <laughs> He was born and raised in the Cincinnati, Ohio area, and his father was a general contractor. He learned the trade from his dad, and when him and his bride, Lydia, moved to Winchester, he began to build and make his money in construction. He also was in state government, both before and after the Civil War. He was the merchant general during the Civil War and in charge of the state bakery. Although the historical records and documents say that he was very trustworthy in that work, it would have been common at that time for a merchant general to skim supplies off at the top, sell it to civilians and pocket the money. So that's, that's another way that he could have made um, some funds in a less than ethical means. Right. After the Civil War, he also was part of the board of directors president of the board of directors for the Winchester Wagon Wheel Company, as well as the founder and first president of the first county bank in Randolph County. Wow, so he had a lot of different hats that he wore in his years, and he built this mansion kind of as a last home for he and his wife. He died in 1890 and his wife died in 1891. So did that, is that where they believe the hauntings of the stone mansion begin? There have been numerous claims of seeing Lydia and there has been one person, myself, who has seen the general. And what is your most extreme paranormal experience here at the stone mansion? So the most visual uh, experience I've had out of the numerous would be probably when I saw a apparition from the neck down, uh, leaning up against the staircase. And the, the energy was very dignified. And this is my house. <laughs> what are you doing here? So I'm pretty convinced that uh, that was the general. What was one of the general's favorite things that he used to do? 
on the top level of the mansion. Uh, we know that the general was a stargazer because the windows are actually slightly slanted outwards so that he could have a full vision of the night sky without obstruction from the roof, specifically designed the upstairs for stargazing. Has anybody ever had any paranormal experiences up there on that floor? There have been a number of paranormal experiences on the top floor. Feeling the energy of a young girl in one of the rooms, as well as an older man. Numerous accounts of people seeing full-bodied apparitions of a girl or a man entering or leaving that room. I had my most intense physical experience at the top of the stairs. As I was walking up the stairs about halfway, started getting a very intense feeling on my chest and got to the top and I had a device and I said, uh, who's here with us? And on the device came up, Jonathan. Lydia, the general's wife, her brother, John, lived here with them for years. And I asked if they were intentionally making me feel that way. I got the answer, yes. I asked if it was to scare or harm or intimidate me. And I got the answer, no. I asked if they were trying to communicate how they had died. The answer is yes. Later that night, I looked up the death certificate for John Preston. He died after 24 hours of chest pain. Do you ever feel like this mansion just kind of draws you in? I... What was that? Uh, my stomach growled, but I also heard like a, a knocking sound. There is a knocking noise. Yeah. Do you ever feel like this mansion just kind of draws you in? I, I, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know where it came from, but I did hear that. My guess would be up, up those stairs. Yeah. So there's a lot of spirits here then, a lot of interactive spirits. Especially on the second floor in that stretch of hallway between the two staircases. A taller man with a top hat, the general, Lydia, a young girl of about 11 years old, those are the most common apparitions seen in that hallway. And we learned that there's one room known as Wendy's room with activity. And supposedly there was a wake here for a young girl, although I don't have historical documentation for that. Um, and we found all that out after Tim had seen the apparition of about 11 year old girl in a yellow dress. What other type of spirits do they see here in the mansion and where do you think they come from? There is some question if Roger Harris is not here. He was the previous owner before Stop Saved the Old Properties purchased it in September of 2019. As far as Roger goes, why do you believe that he actually haunts the building? So part of the reason is that he did not want Stop, the organization, to own the mansion. And he did not learn until after the cell was done that the mantra was now owned by the same people who owned Randolph County Infirmary. And he died only two months after we took possession of the building. Wow, where do you hear or see him? We believe that most of the experiences with Roger is down in the basement. And down in the basement, you get a lot of like K2 hits. Uh, it seems to be more like okay, I don't care that you're here, but go back upstairs and leave me alone. I've had numerous people talk about feeling as though there's an energy that continues to want to hide. So as you go into one room, they go into the next room, like they're trying to avoid you. Mm -hmm. I also get the impression that the general uh, has control or authority over the spirits in the house and that he is, able to permit them to be as vocal or non-vocal as he so desires. Uh, the general and I have had some encounters that have not been visual <laughs> that tell me he's very much intelligent.
so we are starting the investigation here at the Stone Mansion. We are beginning on the first level here in the parlor right beside the piano. Now we actually brought a new piece of equipment for us to try. It's not new, actually. This is a piece of equipment we've used on many of the investigations of Paranormal Quest. It used to be a casualty in Paranormal Quest. <laughs> it was a casualty. <laughs> So back when we were in Savannah, Georgia, investigating Moon River, the antenna actually broke off of this REM pod, and we had since bought a new one, but we wanted to try and salvage this and use it. So Dave and I actually spent a lot of time this week trying to figure out a way to reattach an antenna. We couldn't figure out how to reattach an antenna, but I had an idea to where if we were to connect a piece of copper wire and run it over here to a tray, a metal tray, if we put trigger objects on it, we could trigger the REM pod and turn this metal tray into the antenna. So, what we found out about General Stone is that he liked money. So we're going to put some money in this tray here, and we're actually going to see if he will grab the money. And as you will see as a demonstration, let me turn that on. Okay, there you go. That's ready to go. You'll see the REM pod is here. Over here is the tray. If I touch the tray, it alarms the REM pod. So, kind of an interesting little mod that we did here, but we are hoping that this will help us. Put 60 down. You're putting 60 down on there? Yep, that was me. There you go. And yep, so you'll see if anybody tries to come over and grab this, it will alarm. The rim. So. We're here to talk to General Stone or anyone that lives in this beautiful mansion. If you can hear my voice, we'd love it if you'd come down here to the parlor and talk to us. And if there are spirits with us, just so you know, what we've laid over there in that little metal tray is currency. It looks a lot different more than I do the currency that you're used to seeing. But each of those bills are worth $20 a piece. So there's $60, $60 there total. And they're there for you if you want to grab them. So there's $60, $60 there total. So there's $60, $60 there total. General Stone, are you here? Lydia? Mrs. Stone? guests here, the owners of the house said it's okay for us to come in, but we do respect you both. We do know this is your house before, before anybody's. You know, I mean, we, we understand that you that you live here still. You both, we do know this is your house before. You both, we do know this is your house before. We're just trying to make communication with you, that's all. Did you hear that? I thought I heard movement over here. I heard somebody go tell her came from. Hello? Want to approach the piano real quick? In case, you guys, in case anyone just came down through it here. Those are $20 just a piece. See if you can get close to it. Then let us know that you're there. That's how we're going to know that you're, you're here and wanting to communicate. We know that you don't have to, and we fully respect that. But we'd like to learn from you. 
what it was like back when you were alive. We're not from this area. Is that you? I was in this room right over here. Come on in here with us. Is that you? I was in this room right over here. Is that you? I was in this room right over here. My name is Steve. Dave, Ryan. Again, we're not from the area, so we're you know, just trying to learn about it. Trying to learn about you, trying to learn about the house, or anything that you would care to share with us. We put some money on the piano there. It's $20 bills. There's a few of them. If anybody wants to grab them, they can. We brought it as a, an offering, a gift for you all. It's me walking. General Ashton. Lydia. Wendy. Are there any of the uh, the servants here still working? We were not given any names, but if you're a servant, you worked here, maybe could you give us your first name? Would you please? Come on now, whoever wants that money, just walk up and grab it. It's yours, free to take. What do you think we move up to the general's favorite stargazing spot? Fourth floor. Let's do it. Did you get that? You did. <laughs> what did you do? I tried to take an extra step. <laughs> oh. That was me. Where do we want to do it at? I don't know. I was just, I just had a pedal box over there. But I didn't know which way we wanted to. To shoot. Today. Dave? Yes. Where are you? Over there. Oh, steps. whoa, 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 whoa. What? I just heard somebody walking down here in this hallway. It was Upstairs? It was I thought I just saw something moving. It was before you even started moving. Wait, we're here. Hello? It sounded like somebody was either on on that down there or they were coming up the stairs. Is there something hanging? Yeah, she can go there. Okay. Because I was standing. Do you, do you think you capture it? If nobody's like talking when it happened, then yes. Also, let me just say that right after you said you heard that, I looked down the stairs because you said it was from down here, and I thought I saw right behind the chandelier, it was like a white, misty light that moved down there. That's what I think I saw. That's, I, was, I saw the chandelier. Yeah, but it was like right beyond it. General, is that you? Let me move this camera to... Let's get, let's get
Come on now, I can feel that somebody's around here. Come on up and talk to us. I'm not sure that you guys remember walking up here from the first floor. And when I felt this, like I was going to tell you guys, and then that's when Dave said he tried to make more than one step, like when you trip on the stairs or whatever. Mm -hmm. so, Ooh. <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> I think it was the first door to my left or the second door to my left. I think there's only one door before the steps. I honestly felt the presence of a, I don't know if she was angry or whatnot, but it was a, a female. And the energy just projected from that room, mm. like blindsided me almost. Top of the stairs on the left? Yeah. And she did have, she was very like, I don't know. I want to say I know what she was wearing. It was just kind of like a, I knew it was a female. I could almost see a, a face, and she had like a a, a white colored like um, like gown. And I just remember that because I was going to tell you guys, but like I said, that's when you about tripped, and we were kind of laughing about that. But what if? Lydia, was that you? That Steve saw? That's why Cooper sat down and started thinking about it again. And my eyes almost started watering. Just, we know, like, that's how I react when things get kind of tense. Right. And. For a while, the up here was really starting to feel like that. The same energy I felt come out of that room. Are you angry with people coming into your home? The only way we're going to know, if you're angry and you don't want us in here, we want to be respectful, but we need to know how you feel about that. If you do not want us in here, right over there, against the wall are a couple devices that will help us know that you're here and if you don't want us in here. If you do not want us in here, right over there, uh, there's a tray with some uh, paper currency in it. If you touch that silver spoon looking thing or the device right behind it with the orange light, we'll know it's you. If you touch that, we We'll give you your space. I just kind of thought we were come by that, that energy again. That's strange. General. Melinda says she saw you at the bottom of these stairs. Apparition from the neck down, uh, leaning up against the staircase. And the, the energy was very dignified. And this is my house. <laughs> what are you doing here? So I'm pretty convinced that uh, that was the general himself. She said you're a, a very authoritative gentleman. We wanted to show you that we do not mean you any harm. We don't want to invade your space, and that's why we brought you an offering over there. We put it on the shelf for you. There's also the thought that, you know, we throw it around too, just because we see their shelves are in there, their shelves probably weren't there when the general and Lydia were alive. So, you know, there's the thought that if they go back to the era of which they were alive here after they passed on, 
are they going to see the shelves? Well, I always feel like the tensity was building up up here. Now it's, it's not as tense. What do you think, Ryan? I feel like there's too many of us. Well, I was going to suggest that we set up the pedal loft for him and then you and I go to the basement and see what we can get. Because if you were the one that felt that energy, I feel like whoever it was that was trying to get in contact with you is more than likely going to reach out if you're right. by yourself, if there's not someone else around. All right, so Dave and I are down in the basement. Steve is by himself up in the attic trying to contact Lydia or General Stone. Down here in the basement, they believe that Roger, his spirit or energy might still be left behind. Roger was the former owner who owned this place before the STOP organization, which is Save the Old Properties. You may remember that we did use this tape recorder technique at the Fairfield County Infirmary, and we actually didn't have any luck because the tape recorder didn't have as good of a microphone as we thought it did, so now we're gonna try it again. We ordered a better tape recorder, and here we go. All right, this is the basement of the Stone Mansion. Beginning EVP session. I'd like to communicate with, hopefully the general, or Mrs. Stone, Mr. and Mrs. Stone, and learn a little bit more about you, your experience in life, your ability, your home. Roger, you probably recognize this thing in my hand. This cassette recorder. If you get close enough to it, it might be able to pick up your voice. Roger, are you still here on the property? Anyone's down here on the second floor. My name's Steve. I'm up here in the uh, the top floor, and I'd like to like to meet you if you want to. Myself and my two friends Ryan and Dave are downstairs in the basement. We're here with permission, but we. We'd really like to know if it's okay with you that we're here. Is it okay? Do you, did you say no? Can you say that again? Or if there's anyone else down here who wants to talk to us, you're more than welcome to come up and talk as well. My name is Ryan, that's Dave. We don't want to invade your space or anything. We just wanted to have a little bit of a conversation with you. We've come a long way to come and try and talk to you. Would you mind? coming out and let us know that you're here? What was this room used for? I'd like to 
wanted to know about, especially the, uh, the Civil War era. What was it like in this area during that time? Were people nervous? Were people... All we can do nowadays is study the books, study history, study what you guys went through, and hope that it's accurate. Some of it and all of it. Left. Roger. Was that you? No. I didn't hear anything. I just heard a voice from back here in the corner. Roger, are you in here with us? Ooh, yeah, the closer I get back here to this corner, the worse it feels. Now, if you felt that I was being intrusive, I apologize. I can't see you, Dave or Ryan can't see you. We have no clue whether you're here or not. But we do want to be respectful. I do. Yes, we, we did get permission to come here by the current owners, or the caretakers, if you will, of the house. But we do know and respect that you know that there are and some you know that there are other entities that lived here and owned the house well before the current owners did. And we want to respect you as well. So if you can hear me, and if that's why you rushed out at me, because you felt that I was being invasive or intrusive. I'm sorry. Come on out and talk to us. We have a tape recorder. Speak right into it. What did they used to keep in here? I gotta walk out of that corner. I'm getting really bad vertigo. Really? Yeah, it's just like I can't stand up straight. General Stone, we're starting to get upset that you're not coming out and speaking with us like a real man or a real general would. Now it's time you come out and start speaking with us. That's meant as a compliment, not in disrespect. Yeah, that's what I meant, and that's what I said. Or were you just a cowardly con artist? Tapping your feet? Hmm. Tapping your feet? Hmm. What about Brother William? We haven't heard from you either.
that's indeed somebody over on the other shelves there are some devices with lights on it. Would you be willing to go over there and touch one of those devices? <clears throat> Yeah, there's a device over there. You can manipulate it if you want to. Thank you. Appreciate that. As you see, it won't hurt you. We've been other places, and other, uh, other folks just like you have, uh, have utilized that and other devices we have, and we feel they've come to realize that it won't hurt them. And they're there to use if they wish to use them. I feel so much better now that I'm standing over here. We'll go back there. Jesus Christ. What was that? I ran into the shells. No, you didn't. What? You're way far away from the uh, shells. I ran into that. Sorry, tape recorder. It's not nearly as strong as it was, but there's still a little bit of an energy here. Come on out and talk to us, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. We, we definitely appreciate that. We appreciate you. This battery's about kaput. What do you think? What's a good plan of action? Well, let's go yell for Steve. Get some new batteries, see what we want to do. I'm going to stop on this. Ending, ending, ending. I'm not going to rewind in case I want to start recording again here a little bit later, but I'll tag it if I start again. Dave and Steve are getting in the car out here. I'm gonna be going inside. They're getting in the car now as we speak. You'll see their camera angle here as soon as they get settled in. I am going to be going by myself up to the second floor and I am going to have the whole mansion to myself. Hopefully that will help the spirits feel a little bit more confident to come out and talk to me because there's not a whole bunch of us inside this mansion at once. We found that to be true in the past. The less people, the more comfortable they are to come out and talk. So I'm gonna grab the equipment and go upstairs. Hey guys, we're sitting out here in the car while Ryan's in the house doing his solo. I believe he was gonna start up on the second floor and try and communicate with either General Stone or Lydia or William or Wendy or whoever yeah. else may be in the house there. I know I'm just a guest in your home. And you live here. But I would really appreciate it if you would come out and talk to me. My name is Ryan. Travel a long, long way to come and learn about your life. And I understand completely if you don't want me in your home. 
but unfortunately, if you want me to leave, you have to let me know. Wendy? Lydia? They say this is your room. I won't come in unless I'm invited. Right over here is that curved wall. Very interesting staple of the architecture of the stone mansion. And right around this corner is actually where more apparitions have been seen. I walk by the rim pod. When I was doing uh, my solo up in the attic or the top floor, mm -hmm. um, it was, it was a little quiet, but there was always that feeling where you weren't entirely alone. Yeah. Especially at the bottom of the steps that would lead up to where I was at. Who's the lady that Steve saw? Or felt? Or felt? or felt. I don't know where this goes. Could you close the door, please? Just so I know where you are. I think I can feel you up here. There's a strange energy. If you're upstairs, could you walk to the top of the stairs so I can see you? In impressions like that, you, no matter who you are, you really can't... <laughs> ignore it? <laughs> you can't ignore it, but it's very hard to, to prove. It's really hard to prove to the viewers yeah. what you're experiencing at that point in time. Um, which is why we try to be, we all try to be as honest and as credible as we can so that when we do have experiences like that, that the people that know us at least will give us the, the benefit of a doubt. Yeah. You know, we can't prove it 100% what we're sensing, seeing, or feeling sometimes, but but we do, we do, uh, we do make a note of it. You know, we are sharing this with you guys, but this is also, you know, these are going to be memories for us down the road too. Mm-hmm. This is our own journal in a way it's a, vis a video journal yeah of stuff that we what we love to do and we like to share with you guys and Wendy to be quite frank I'm sorry to tell you this but they are not really sure the people that are doing all the research on this place they have absolutely no idea who you are The only thing they know is that people have told them that this is your room. Is this your room, Wendy?
something just touched my knee. The hell was that? There was literally like a pressure right on my kneecap. If that was, I'm sorry if that was the little girl that has been seen up here who they believe might be named Wendy. I didn't. What was that? I didn't. I didn't. What was that? I didn't mean to startle you. You just startled me. I didn't expect something to tickle my knee. <laughs> that was weird though. It was like pressure, like right here around my kneecap. It was like I felt almost like a pressure or a hand right here on my knee, which was really creepy. It's just a light pressure, just enough to tickle right there on my knee. That was bizarre. I've been up here for a little while, so I'm going to be heading out here soon. I'm going to be going back outside and meeting up with the guys. We're gonna stick around a little while though. All right, Roger. Are you down here with us? You can use this radio in my hand right here to communicate. Can you say hello? General, are you here with us? Yeah. Was that you, Lydia? Who was that? What was, what's your name? We'll start out. My name's Dave. This is Steve. And this is Ryan over here. What's your name? General Stone. Did you build this house? Oh, what was that? I heard that. That was a sound I haven't heard. That was upstairs. Mm -hmm. Oh, what was that? Whoa, what was that? Look at this thing right here. Whoa, again. What the heck was that? Hello? Look at this thing right here. Whoa, again. What the heck was that? Whoa, again. What the heck was that? Well, did you have the camera? Mm -hmm. Why don't you make a quick sweep upstairs? Okay. And see if what we if we hear him walking sounds like what we heard. Yeah. Because we have this camera on us, so we'll be walking over here. You yeah. gotta go. you gotta see if you can figure out what that is. I'll yeah, be right back. Okay. Ryan's coming up there. Yeah, no, definitely Hello? We're not trying to be mean or scary or anything. We're just trying to talk loud enough to where you can hear us. Who's making noise up here? Come on down and talk to us. Are you getting irritated that we're here?
Okay, feels creepy in here. Whatever that just was. Yeah, that's what I heard before. Okay, so that was an interesting sound. That sounded similar. That was me shutting that door. I bet you they'll probably agree too. Hey, Ryan. Yeah. See, told you. Dave's going up to uh, check with Ryan to see what that sound was. Um, I literally just said on camera, I was like, that sounds similar. They'll be up here in a minute. <laughs> what was it? Here, I'll show you. Exactly what it was. So I was in that room here and I came through this door and then what you heard was me shutting this door. Really? Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Really? Mm-hmm. to get all of our stuff and leave right now. Touch that red light on that chair right there and we'll go right this second. We will pack our bags and give you your space. Try that, um, that one back hallway. Yep. Okay. That one back hallway. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. This is the area earlier where I was feeling vertigo and losing my balance. There's another little step up here, kind of like Steve Lickman. Was General Stone a nice man? Caught that. Was General Stone an angry man? Yeah. Why was General Stone so angry? Did General Stone have a lot of secrets? session after this or do we want to call it here at Stone Mansion? I think 50-50. Personally, if they were going to speak with us more prominently, they would have done so by now. I think so. Mm -hmm. And they may already have. They may have. Through the recorders. Mm -hmm. And we don't even know what happened on Amanda. <laughs> that is very true. Yeah. What about you? What do you think? Yeah, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I'm kind of getting the idea that, you know, they, for whatever reason, they really don't want us here. And because they don't want us here, they're not going to communicate with us in the way that we want them to. Right. And that's understandable. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's their home. And yeah. We were told they were very private. And, and that's perfectly fine. You know. Yeah, we definitely wanted to make communication with them more. 
but we're visitors here. Yeah. And I think the one thing that we got from tonight that we can take away is that this house is very historical. This mansion has stood here for almost 150 years at this point. It's a beautiful, beautiful mansion. It is. I love this place. And the thing that we know is that there's a lot of history here. Yeah. And I think that that history does live on in the form of energy. And according to the accounts that other people have had, that there may be some intelligent spirits here, but even according to our own experiences that we know of tonight, there's definitely an energy here that persists and lives on, I think, in my opinion.